Hi Leo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your love reading for August 7th through the 31st. This is for Leo. I want to thank all my subscribers, watchers, commenters, and supporters. I appreciate all the support. I'm close to 10,000 subscribers now, so thank you very much. Um, this is for Leo. What do you have for Leo? Wow, that's a good start there, Leo. That is. It looks like things are pretty balanced out in your life right now. This is right. I'm recording this on the 7th, and this reading starts on the 7th. So I think that things are pretty balanced out for you. That's what it appears. All right, here we have a new partnership, okay? This is um, the Ace of Wands. It says the, it does say Ace of Wands, doesn't it? Huh. Um, religion, it is about religion. It's about a new cause, a, a cause and effect. It's about um, a new partnership with, some, with somebody or a job or whatnot. Considering this is a love reading, I think it's a new partnership. Perhaps there's a lot of a sexual attraction in this partnership, okay? But this is the this is a gift. This is a raw potential to um, grow, okay? To grow your partnership if you're already with somebody. Right now, the partner the, the partnership should be growing. If you're not with somebody and you're single, then this would be somebody perhaps coming in. Could be a Sagittarius, or this could just be an energy. This is temperance. This is about um, moderation, okay, and blending. So I think you've had this one before. If you're with somebody, if you're with somebody new, perhaps, you're still working on blending your two lives together. And I think you're doing very, very well because here it looks very harmonious, all right? It looks like you've started or you're going to start your new phase. I think you already, a lot of you already have. And if you haven't, that you're so, so, so close to doing that. Because the, when the world card comes out, it means that you are about to begin something long-term. One long-term commitment that you had signed up for before birth has been learned, and now you're on to another one, okay? This is what this is. This is a new long-term uh, pivotal point in your life that is upon you, okay? Here we have the Mother of Wands. This is an air sign. Oh, air sign. Jeez, I'm girl. Fire sign. Um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. So this is you. All right. Um, and I think this is. I think this is. This is um, energy for for you. I don't. I don't know if this is the other person or not. But this is. This does represent Sagittarius. But here it's about overindulgence and moderation. So I think, you know, maybe there's, this is a high sexual energy. So just, you know, put those together. Here you are. I think your sexual drive must be very high at this time. Okay. I think there's a lot of uh, passion going on here. There's a lot of passion, but there's a lot of worry. Okay, so there's passion on one hand, and on the other hand, there's worry and 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 stress, and perhaps because it's there's the blending that's going on. The blending that's going on is is stressful. Okay, so here this is just calling out for you to be yourself. Bring back your inner strength and your confidence. Okay, bring that back. Um, it's time to open up and surrender. Just surrender to whatever happens. Let go. Um, you have the grace and the ease to handle anything. You have the strength to handle anything. Remember that. Remember who you are, okay? Mind, body, and spirit. Remember who you are. This is what this says. Remember when Mufasa says that? Remember who you are. He might say other words, but you know what I'm saying. This is what this card is telling me. Remember who you are. I see that you've been very, very worried about things. Something is causing you stress and it ha I think that's the blending that's going on in your life there's something it's you know it's a lot 
Um, here it's about slow and steady wins the race. This is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. But I, in this in this right here, I think it is. Um, you know, it could be start you start them starting the journey with you. But I think it is um, an energy where you know this is coming quite fast for you, and perhaps you need it to be a little bit slower. You know, that's what I'm thinking. Cause see, it's looking towards the stress. It's like, hmm. And here we have this nine of pentacles over this, over you. This is very independent. Mate, perhaps you've been independent for a really long time. And, um, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to change after that. Um, with this world card, this new phase of your life is going to shake up your independence. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to shake up your independence, perhaps. Yeah, let's get some more cards. Yeah, it is. Okay, I was looking for something like this. Okay, so what's going to happen is, is it's going to make you not independent anymore. You, you, those days are over. It seems a little chaotic right now. I think that, like, it, like I think I said in your last reading, it's overwhelming. The amount of uh, passion and, and love and blending is overwhelming. You know what I mean? It's just happened very, very quick. But it's very nice. It's very good. If it hasn't happened yet, stay tuned. Perhaps your confidence is starting to come back up. Your self-esteem. Um, you're starting to grow. You're starting to grow. And that's great. You're starting to grow spiritually. You're starting to grow um, your self-worth back. Okay? And this could be true love. Just so you know, this could be this is a sincere offer of love. And and a new journey, a new beginning. Okay, this is a new beginning with faith and trust. You're ready to fly. You're ready to let go. You're going to let go of the fear. You're going to have confidence and you're just going to step right off the branch. Okay? And I think you already have. A lot of you already have. Um, takes courage and confidence. And it's going to shake up your independence. It is. It's going to shake up your independence. Here you are. Here you are. You were independent. Now you're starting to have courage and confidence. You're going to fly. You're going to take a new journey. Because of love. An unexpected love. An unexpected love that came in. That was so strong that you can't. Um, it's like Wow. This is kind of overwhelming. And here we have the Empress. This is um, very nurturing, loving, caring, feminine um, energy. Okay? This is beauty. So this just tells me that this person that's offering love sees your beauty. They see your beauty inside and out. They see your gentle ease. Okay? They want to start a new journey with you. Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Could be Gemini. Although it's very, 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 a very harmonious relationship, you know, which is great. Let's get some clarifiers. So it looks like you've, you know, you've had a loss. You've had a loss of some sort. You have had a loss, which has caused you to beware. Yep, there's been a loss in the past that is affecting you now. All right, well, that's pretty common, right? Here we have this sun, which is great. It means to let this go. Whatever is, is causing you these googly eyes, you know, these thoughts of... Uh, mistrust or whatever it is um, you let that go because this is real happiness here 
This is real happiness. Vibrancy. It is. Here we have this awakening. We have this wake-up call. We have this breakthrough. Um, this is an awakening that affects your independence. Okay? It does. It affects your independence. And it is a breakthrough because it's like, finally, that's the breakthrough. I'm smiling from ear to ear here. Um, it's a breakthrough for you. It's you, the new, <laughs> with these two cards right together, this is, this is the world card. This is the card right before the world card. You have seriously, seriously gotten to a point where you are about to start a new long-term path. And it's where you are not independent anymore. Yeah, okay. So, there is some impulsiveness here. There is, with this fool and with this knight. You know, it looks like there's some act now, think later um, energies. So just keep that in mind. Okay, this breakthrough comes through and you may have some impulsive um, thought that tells you to do something. Okay, so just, just beware to, to take caution with your thoughts, okay? Because this is saying that you may act impulsively, especially with this, this fool. They're both impulsive energy um, towards this person, towards this person, you know, um, this person right here. Um, because it's looking at them. They're, just be careful. Okay, be careful not to be too impulsive. Um, you have to let your guard down. You have to let your guard down. Okay, um, this isn't a competition. All right, it's not a competition. There's no reason to to guard your heart. I can see that you're guarding your heart. You are. Okay, you need to you need to just let it happen. Let it happen. The world card is destiny. It's destiny. I know it's happening very, very, very quickly. And I see that. I see that it's happening very quickly. And it's almost like it's an overwhelming quickly. You know what I mean? And I think that, you know, and that's why you're so, you're forced to act. And sometimes things are impulsive because, you know, it's happening so quick. Um... But it's love, okay? It is love. I see that it's love. These are also the rods of love, okay? I'm going to get a couple more. I'm going to get some of these angel romance cards for you. Hmm. Retreat. It's time to dis disconnect from the world. <laughs> what the hell is this? Is there some kind of broken heart that you're not over with yet? This is for Leo. You know what I mean? It looks like there's still, you know, and it's right here with this depression and broken heart, sorrow, have my guard up. Perhaps you need just a little bit of time alone. If you're with somebody or you have somebody new with you, maybe you need just a little bit of time alone to gather your thoughts and come back to reality here and decide to trust, okay, and forgive whatever's happened in the past and to trust. I think you do. I think you need some time to um, go within. I think, think what's happened is, is this has happened so quickly. It's happened so quickly that you just don't know if you can trust because it seems too good to be true. So maybe you need time to go within to really process all that's happened. Okay. Here we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Now this is with everybody. Okay. Extend your lighthearted energy with others. What you give is what you get. Remember that. Okay. Um, You know, while you're blending and things are difficult, while you're blending, 
Make sure you have some playfulness. Make sure you take time to flirt with this person. Make sure you um, show them your light-hearted side. And if you're single and you're looking for somebody, make sure you're doing this. Okay? Make sure. And with everybody. Because that hires your vibration. Man or woman doesn't mean you have to. I mean, there's all different kinds of extending your lighthearted energy to others. It's simply being kind to everybody. Okay? So, as you do that, you raise your vibration. And this is raising your vibration as well. And it brings in happiness. It brings in the positive. It brings in everything good. Okay, so while, you know, if you're going through hard times with somebody, you know, um, and you're, you're still blending and you're still, you know, whatever, um, but you know it's great, it's great, um, remember to extend your lighthearted energy at all times. Instead of being negative, be positive. That's what this says. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Like I said, if there's negative things going on in your life, you need to replace them with positive thoughts. And if it has to do with your parents, you need to forgive your parents and you need to forgive yourself at the same time. Okay, because it takes two. Okay, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and you forgive yourself. And then, you're, again, your vibration starts to raise as soon as you start forgiving. Okay? This is about vibrations anyway. Okay? And things become better very, very quickly. Um, so if there's something you need to heal with your family, maybe if it's your mother or your father, you know, maybe you need to say, I'm sorry, or I forgive. Or you don't even have to say it. You can forgive them in your heart. Or you can say it, whichever you want to do. When you do that, you let a huge load go off your shoulders, okay? And it could be your mother. It could be your mother that you need to heal with. So take that. There's a reason that message came out. So I got this new deck and I'm going to pull one card. I am going to have to read for the from the book because I don't know it all yet. Vintage Wisdom Oracle. So I'm going to give you one card. What do you have for Leo? Hopefully you can see that. In front of a dramatic sky, this card shows a mirror image of a warrior woman meeting her own reflection. With swords drawn, it seems conflict may be near, but the all-seeing eye of truth presides, serving as a poignant reminder that what is done to another is ultimately done to the self. <laughs> I love it when this kinds of things happen. The double-edged swords capable of separation and liberation symbolizes dual powers of nature such as life and death in victory and defeat. Like a sword, truth is a sharp instrument worthy of the greatest respect. Depending on how they are wielded, both have the ability to destroy or heal. Only the maturity and wisdom of the user determines the outcome. In tarot, the suit of swords represents navigation of thought and the unseen realm of the mind. But when it comes to the application of truth, the unruly mind, the unruly mind cleverly justifies all manner of things and distracts us away from, from our alignment to love. Fear poses many challenges along the path to discovering the liberations of truth. 
reactions of others, guilt and insecurity distract and rob us of the opportunity to clearly identify the truth of the matter. The presence of this powerful card is the call for authentic freedom. Bravely face your fears. Step into the light of love and examine the essence of the situation. That's why you need the retreat. Rather than facing facts, perhaps you have been in a state of avoidance. If this is the case, it could be a reminder to sort the wheat from the chaff so you can clearly see to move beyond the gravitational pull of old patterns. You may also be searching for the reality behind your relationship to others or the deeper meaning of life and your place and purpose in it. Seeking the truth is a worthy quest on any level and can provide a significant opportunity for liberation and growth. See where this card falls within your spread as the surrounding cards can provide context for understanding how truth applies to you at this time. It has to do with this retreat. You need to go within and you need to figure out what it is that you need to heal and how you can blend more easily you know um and you need to figure out this loss this uh, maybe it's jealousy or regret or um past rejection something that's causing you to keep your guard up okay you need to go within so that you can let it go what caused this and then let it go So Leo, that is what I have for you for your love reading. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, this will not resonate with everybody. Um, it's just the way it is. Uh, so I will talk to you soon.